swole Benji here. So I want to talk about the trading post because a lot of newbies don't understand how this thing works. They think it's just like a vendor that they can just sell their goods to. Now, those of you that have played a game like Albion Online understand this thing completely. It's the exact same way. Uh, every single trading post is tied to the market here. So I am in, what is this, Everfall? So this market, this trading area, is only for Everfall. If I want a different market with different items and different prices, I have to travel to these different areas. But luckily for you, the game will let me look at uh, items in other markets without having to actually travel there. So you can go to, you can click at the top right here, and you can actually toggle on and off different cities and outposts to see what they're selling and, and what their markets are, are at, right? So that's a really cool feature. But I want to explain to you, a lot of MMORPG gamers, they think that when they get a bunch of stuff in their inventory that they can just go to a vendor and sell it, you know, like World of Warcraft or something, okay? That is not the case with this game, okay? The way it works with this game is, let's say I wanted to sell something and I have a lot of stuff in my stash. The cool thing, by the way, is you can craft and you can sell from your stash. So what, what do I mean by stash, right? In every town, there are a couple of these storage sheds, right? Let, let me just show you that real quick for those those that don't know, that skip the tutorial or whatever. Or maybe that you haven't played the game and you're thinking about it. So, I uh, actually walked past it. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> a little lost here. Okay, so this building here is the storage shed. This is where you would just store all of your stuff, right? And I've got a lot of stuff in here. I've got a lot of crafting materials. i got silver. I've got linen. You know, I've got all sorts of uh, plants and resources. This is just from 12 hours of playing, and that thing is already full. All right. <laughs> I think I was sleeping. Now, in the market, you know, when I when I click sell, it's got everything in that storage that I can do. So let's say I wanted to sell a basil, right? I can click on the basil, and there's a couple things here I can do. All right. I can place a sell order, which means that I'm going to set a price for someone to buy, right? And I can also see the current sell orders. Right now, someone else is selling basil for 20 gold. I think this is called gold. I don't know what the currency is called. I'm gonna call it gold for now until I learn more, all right? So what this means is if I wanna sell mine faster, I would have to put mine at 19, right? Uh, this guy's selling his at 100 and he has nine available. So these are really extremely high prices, but it is only the second day of this server being live. So basil's kind of rare. Right. Um, in this case, you know, you would type in here how much that you want to sell it for. So let's say I want to sell it for 19. You can also sell it for fractions like 19.35, or I, I could actually be cheap and do 19.99 and undercut them by a penny. Right. Uh, so what this means is it's putting this on the market is going to charge me 99 cents, and in the end I will earn 19 flat. Now I can set it for 14 days or 28, which would cost more. The li there's a listing fee too here. So it's going to cost me like five gold to list one basil, <laughs> right? Uh, it's pretty expensive, okay? The beta isn't going to last 28 days, so there's no reason to use this function as of this video recording. But uh, essentially, that's how you would place the sell order, right? Now, here, here's another thing, too. Let's say I want to buy basil, all right? And, you know, I did, I, I did this already, and I feel really bad for it. Um, I did this with bullets, so let me show you exactly what I did. I'm gonna place a buy order for bullets, okay, and let's see, these are sell orders. I'm going to place a buy order for 0 0.05, and I want to buy 200 bullets, okay? So it's gonna cost me 14 silver <laughs> total, uh, it's gonna cost me, or I'm sorry, gold, I'm, I'm sorry guys, it's gold. 10 gold for the items, and then, uh, and then half of that to list it as a buy order and I'm gonna place my order now if I were to buy bullets normally I'd be paying a dollar 74 per bullet which is really expensive for bullets okay now the reason I made the reason I made this video and the reason I feel bad is because what I did was I went into each town and I put these buy orders up and so what newbies did is they just had bullets and if they didn't own a gun they weren't they weren't doing anything with their bullets. They just wanted to vendor it as fast as possible. So what they would do is they would go to sell, and then they would go to their bullets, and they would see, oh, I can sell my bullets to the vendor. And they would click sell, and then I would get their bullets. And that's what a buy order is. A buy order lets you automatically buy things for a set price that someone else comes in and, and agrees to, right? Um, so... 
because it's beta and it's only the second day and, and a lot of MMORPG gamers aren't aware of how buy and sell orders work because either they don't do investing or they've never played Albion online. This is how this is essentially how it works. If I set a buy order, I'm willing to buy an object for a set amount of price. So if anyone comes along with it, they can sell it immediately for that price. Right? Now the sell order is they list something on the market. So like this guy listed a feather at 50 cents for his sell order. So he he's got it it's on the market. If anyone wants to buy a feather for 50 cents, they can't which is a stupid price by the way, but um <laughs> they can come in here and they can buy a feather for 50 cents and I will get the feather and he will get the 50 cents after the the transaction fee and the taxes and all that fun stuff. But essentially what you can do if if, if you want to be a market flipping master, you're going to go in on here and you're going to make sure that your buy orders are lower than everyone else's. So right now, if I go to buy bullets or, or sell bullets, I can see that no one else is doing a buy order on bullets. I'm the only guy. So if anyone wants, you know, to, to get rid of their bullets for, you know, a quick buck, I'm, I'm ripping them off essentially, right? Like I am, I'm paying five cents per bullet, which is insane, right? I can make about 2,000 bullets in one hour of farming. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and, and that's with manually going out into the world, which is another video topic for another time. But essentially, that's buy orders and sell orders. That's the trading post. And, uh, you know, you can just travel to each town and set up your buy orders and your sell orders for whatever market you want to corner, whatever resource that you want to master. And, and there you go. That's how you would do it. Uh, now, for weapons, it's a little different because if you set a buy order for like uh, for like a, an iron longsword and it's enchanted, that complicates things a bit. But you can you can pick like let's say you want a specific sword, you want a specific type of sword with a specific uh, prefix yeah, prefixes, etc. You know, with with special alignments on it. You can set that as your your buy order. You can be like, I, I will pay a thousand bucks if you have a sword that gives me ten constitution and ten strength, and also has an open socket in it. And if someone happens to have that sword and they go to sell and they see it on there, then you know they can sell it to you. So if you're looking for that ultra rare drop, that super rare rolled item, you can place buy orders for it. But like I said, the buy orders only last twenty eight days. Uh, so you might have to find another avenue to find really rare objects like that. No, but essentially, uh, you don't want to just list everything that you have. Uh, especially if you haven't done the main story quest, because there's a lot of mater materials you need to craft your staff and a lot of other things as part of the story. So don't, don't be too quick to sell things, and also don't just go to the sell tab and click your items. Like I have, let's say I want to sell air motes. There is no one doing buy orders because I guess everyone's new and it's only the second day. Or Flint, right? Like, <laughs> once this game becomes established, you're going to see buy orders and sell orders on every single item in the game. That is the fate of all MMORPGs, right? Also, if you're wondering what this little yellow icon, it, it means that you have a quest for this item. So you absolutely would not want to sell, like, well, water's easy to get, so, I mean, I don't know why you'd sell you just go to the well and get some water. But if you see this icon in a, on an item, don't sell it. Or if you see this that icon while scrolling around buying, then obviously you could buy that and you know get a free experience from one of your quick missions. Anyway, that's the trading post. I hope you learned something today. It's a little different than other MMORPGs, but it really isn't if you've played games like Albion Online or Eve and stuff like that. I'm Soul Bidgey. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay so we'll make sure you leave a comment and a like. You gotta do both. If you do both, it is an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo. It super helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. And that is the two-handed Warhammer. It's really loud. Uh, also, subscribe. 72% of you aren't subscribed, alright? I know my video shows up in your feed. Just hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, okay? And if you liked the video and you found it useful, please share it amongst your friends in Discord or just on forums or whatever. That's, that really helps out, too. I make a video every day. I'm an official content creator for Amazon. I got approved it in the program, so that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to be making a video every single day. So I hope you enjoy these daily videos. Take care, lads. I'll see you in the next one.